don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Follow us on Spotify if you are listening on that. Get all the notifications. Social media, we have Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, um, at Average Aussies and the Fantasy League. Still on top of the world, as we say. Every test that this Arsenal team has faced so far, we have come out on top. We've only got one more, don't you? A city. We do only have one more. But I thought this week, mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about the game itself, right? Okay. Cool. I want to <laughs> talk <on>. about... <laughs> I'm, I want to try and put this in like the best words that I can because it was like something... And I'm sure you Liverpool boys would be able to understand. Yep. Because... Maybe. Don't when, leave me out. <laughs> sorry, Beef, but like you probably... You, you will... No, every football fan will understand this, right? But when your team is winning and doing everything right, it's like... The love that you can somehow like manifest for a football club. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, of course, we love our wives. Um, <laughs> Jenga, we love Buff. We yeah. love our families. Right. Like, it's like, but the love that you have for a football club, I think, is so different. A hundred percent, because it's it's um, you know, not everyone's gonna love your wife as much. No. And if they do, then there's issues. You're right. That's yeah. a good point. But like, it's like a you're collective. Just, you're in a collective of people. Of, yeah, people who love. And even the club. more to the point, right? We get a lot of stick for being Australian Premier League fans. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which I find unfair to start off with because everyone's like support local. Or you live in a, you live thousands of miles away. You don't know anything about the game, which just burns me already. But like when. You're Australian, right? You support this team and you have this like unabiding love for a team that you're probably ever only ever going to see like three or four times in yeah. your life. Yeah. You're if, never, if you're you're never going to go to yeah. a stadium and witness it. And if anything, that's more like kudos to us at the fact that we can fashion the ability to like support a team with that much. Yeah. Look, there's, there's no doubt it would be easier to be like a Liverpool fan if you lived in the UK. It'd be oh, game, you lived yeah, around Liverpool. League, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the games are on at um, good times. It can be hard to get a season ticket, obviously, and and they have like the uh, the blackout for the games. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I think like the the midday kickoffs um, they don't televise. Yeah. Or they don't televise all of them because they want to encourage people to go to the ground and watch it, yeah. not watch it on the telly. Um, but it, you know. I'm very jealous of that culture. Even yeah. just to walk around the city, like it's way more in yeah. your face. Like we have to fight for the content. We have to get up in the middle of the night to watch the games. Pay like, stupid subscription fees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. deal with, um, I don't want to rag on Optus too much, but deal with like the worst app ever. Yeah. They really need to up their game. So it's it's I a hard slog. I can't even get it in large screen on my phone. No, it's, I've been It just problem. dies every five minutes, yeah. like lags. But yeah, it's a hard slog, but... um. We love it. Yeah, and that's just like, I think if anything, we deserve more credit because like we don't get to experience like the match day, like, you know, go to the pub at 12, getting ready for the game at 3, like 3 p.m. Saturday kickoff, like you're just being like pumped up for it all day. You're with all your mates, you go and sit in like the North Bank. like It's it's, they get to live it every weekend. Yeah, that's what I mean. mean? We we get a little snippet of time in the fucking wee hours of the morning. The best we can get is like an 11.30 or a 9.30 at night. On a Saturday yeah. night, like and and people say, like from Britain mainly, but oh, you Aussies, you don't you don't fuck all. But it's because we yeah, don't, don't have the media around us telling us what to think or telling us every trade. Yeah, we have to go and source yeah the information at like two a.m. in the morning to watch it. Yeah. yeah, and we only have one source of supported media, and that's Optus. And and that's trash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we have to we have to go and get our own thoughts and make our own opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not every not every newspaper or like news report is just feeding an opinion to you about no, you something that you then the back page and the paper yeah. isn't. Yeah. You actually, as Ethan League. said, you have to come up with it yourself. Generally, you, you get like it. a little banner on you know our national news services. Yeah, and There's this sport, you know, oh, rah, rah, rah. they tell you the result on the like six o'clock news, and they it's like three. It, it fucking irks me. They go, oh, and this team won three two, and they show you one goal, and then half the time. The, the player goes to take the shot, but then they cut away to go, and now with the weather. And I'm like, could you not have, like, just showed us the four yeah. goals in the front yeah. zone? drops across rooftops. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, I don't mean this in the intention of being, like, oh, you know, we're Australian supporters, woe is me. No one, like, no, no, no one cares. But, like, when people say, like, you don't know shit, you've never even been to the game. It's like, I know. And that should, like, 
spur you on as a fan of a football club that has fans all around the world that are willing to like get up in the middle of the night. Like they, yeah. like I support Arsenal probably more than any team in Australia. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, and I've followed like rugby league since I was born. And I, I have yeah. a more, I feel like I have a more in-depth relationship with Arsenal than I do with that team. Yeah. So when like they come for you and say like, oh, you know, you've never been to the game. What would you know? And it's just like, mate, like, isn't that like saying something that the fact that I probably never, I'll probably go to the Emirates like two, three times in my life if I'm lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Considering how much it would cost yeah. us yeah. to go there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, but a, a few points on that, like the Brits have a, like this ownership over the game because they made it and like their um the international federation of whatever i think it's called ifab and they make up the rules yeah it's it's the home nations yeah yeah they're, and like they they're the only ones who can change the rules yeah and, so they have this like Tribal, idea that, tribalism where it's yeah, like yeah. it's Monopoly. their game yeah. no game. one knows it like we know it and they do it great but at the same time the reason the premier league is so big and amazing and quality is because fans all around the world watch yeah, it yeah. and there's massive TV deals. They strive to make so it a global us, entity. us yeah. paying our subscription to watch it on the telly is from a massive TV deal that Optus paid, which then gets injected back into the clubs, which then yeah. buy the best players, upgrade their stadiums yeah. and then Brits go and watch it and yeah. have the best league in the world. Yeah. I don't begrudge them for that, but you know, I've played since I was five years old. I've watched it since I was about seven how do I not have knowledge or an understanding of the game? Oh, yeah. Just because exactly I don't right. live in England. Exactly. And, and that's what you, annoys me. And about when you it. immerse yourself in like the content, like, because as Beef said, like, we have to go and find our own content. Yeah. So obviously we find stuff that we like and we all have our own like ways of getting the information that we get. Mm -hmm. But it's like, we then like fashion that. Like, it's, it's literally, we're not getting like, as you said, we're not getting force fed information about the Premier League like no. 24 7. And like, that's what people I don't think understand is like we literally have to seek this information out. Yeah, it's, it's not, not on not the radio in Australia. No. It's not no. on our main media There's channels no, everywhere. The, yeah, exactly. You right. have to go online to your own team yeah. well, and follow even, it there. It's even like you hear on like the talk sport radio and they have like phone ins about like teams and shit like like we don't get anything like that. Like how good would it be to listen to something like that? Well yeah. that's why there's a guy on Twitter now called Latte Firm who does like and it's pretty much that you can do it on Twitter. He hosts a space and he's pretty much, you can like request to talk. Yeah. Okay. And then there's like 500 people listening and like, it's literally like a phone in interview and you'd be like, oh, I think this is about the game. And I listened to one the other day. It was unreal. I was like, listen to the radio. And I was like, this well, is that, like, this is like early morning, like rugby league radio. Like, you yeah, know, Ray Hadley, yeah, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. getting phone. As this calls. is where average Aussies came from the idea is to, yeah. because we are proud. You can be proud to be an Australian Premier League fan. Yeah. yeah and we can watch other average people that aren't, just milking all their views of pundits that live next door. <laughs> um, but and, and we might have shocking opinions, or but that's that's yeah, the fun yeah, of it, right? That's the whole idea. It's, that, it's our it's opinion. It's our genuine opinion. It could opinion. be honking, but we're average. Um, <laughs> and the, to be fair, I will say we get some slack from like a fair few British viewers on TikTok and stuff like that. There's a lot of Aussies that get get grindy with us because we don't support local either. Yeah. And it's just like, that's where I'm just like, it's my choice. Like, But the A-League so, wasn't always around. No, yeah, it's, the A-League is of like a, you know a, what a, I, an infant if you know it is. You know what I find sport. it, right? In my opinion, a football club is like a partner. Yeah. I like, I'm, I'm monogamous. I have one. Yeah. Like I don't, I watch the A-League. I enjoy it, but I just can't get into it. You don't support it. it. Yeah. I can't get into it like I, can't, like I have with Liverpool because it feels like they're my club. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't I, mean that I don't support Australian football, and and Australian football is almost less fucking accessible than like English is at times. Yeah, like there's it's less reported on for a yeah. start. Um, yeah. So upset. Yeah, that's oh, my it's like opinion. The A League finals, like you don't even know it's on half yeah, the time. Exactly. Like, but yeah, for crazy. me, it's like <laughs> Liverpool is my club. Yeah. yeah. Like they're my club. And it I doesn't think, mean I don't support or like Australian football. It's just that's that's my team and it has been for years. And I think that's a great point too, Jake, that the fact that the A-League, it is new. It's it, how When was it established? Like it's obviously not like five years old. I think it's 18 years old now. But like that's what I mean. These clubs are oh, 18 less. years old. Like you, yeah, I think it'd be less. Then you yeah. have a choice to like support that, which you couldn't. Like some people do. Some people love the A-League. And yeah. hats off to them. Like if you support the A-League teams, like go for it. But... Like, and then if we were like, how old when we like got into the Premier League, we were all like, like 
pre high school pretty much yeah, when we got into yeah, it yeah. or just starting high school and you pick this club that's steeped in history whether it's like yeah. whether you've been champions or not been champions yeah, if you had a good choice or a bad choice but like but like it. no but like every club <laughs> has history every single club in england has some sort of the yeah. lower leagues yeah there's teams in there that yeah. have history like yeah you know what I mean? Plus, and it's like, and so much more to be able to attach yourself to as well. It's a little bit like of a of a wank to be like, oh, you don't support local enough. Like, is it that bad that as humans we want to view like the best products? It's like those people that only nah. drink indie beers from like yeah, hipster breweries. Exactly. Breweries. It's like, I'll, I'll, it's like you know, I'll only drink those beers because you know I know where they're made and like yeah. I'm you supporting even, the people in that community. It's like see, good on you, man. I'll, I'll like like go for it. <laughs> people in the UK, they're like, I only follow lower league football. I don't follow like the Premier League. It's a joke. Like I understand it because they're like it's been like monetized so much. Yeah, but like. Don't Why care. not just enjoy the best product available? Mm. You don't have to. It doesn't mean that you're a, you're a wanker. It just means yeah. that you like watching something good. Exactly. Anyway, that, that, that's just the first point I wanted to get off. I feel like that was a bit of color, if you want, if you will. Um, <laughs> it was good. And to any of our fans that cop shit from elitist people, tell them to get fucked. Just, yeah. just follow your follow your club and get the enjoyment that yeah, we do. Exactly. Out of it. And that leads me to my next point, Beef. Get the enjoyment right. 